you got to say, though, when it comes to getting a win, Kyle Busch. Today, he looked like that win was coming towards him. He just had to really hold off Ross Chastain. What happened as they were exiting turn two? He was coming up on Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe was on the tail end of the lead lap. Didn't want to go lap down. Left the lane open for Kyle Busch, but it was the high lane right up against the wall. Kyle Busch tried to make that pass, and it was debatable. Did Ross, excuse me, did Chase Briscoe leave enough space for Kyle Busch? Kyle Busch had the way the air was working against him and the car. Lost the air at the front end. Car got upset. That's why he lost it. You could tell he was biting his tongue a little bit in that post-race interview. The big question is, because we heard this from Jeff Burch and from Steve Letarte, was this a bit of a dirty move or is this hard racing and trying to stay on the lead lap? While well, also throwing there another thing, Chase Bisco, besides trying to stay on the lead lap, is trying to keep her, the championship hopes alive for the 14 team for Stuart Haas Racing. If he goes a lap down, there's no guarantee Akash is going to come out and he'll get the free pass. Very likely the race could have gone caution free to the end, or maybe there's the possibility of a caution, but there's no guarantee he'll be that first car one lap down. Chase Briscoe had to do what he had to do to stay on the lead lap. That was hard racing. This is the playoffs. You cannot just allow a non playoff driver to try to get around you, lap you down. It'd be different if they were both in the same manufacturer, much more different if they were teammates. But that was not the case. Chase Briscoe, I see no wrongdoing by what he did. Just hard racing, trying to stay on the lead lap and being extra aggressive. For Kyle Busch, just unfortunate. His winless streak continues on.